So on Amazon Prime, they had a movie called Parasite, and it's not Parasite from 2019. Um, it's this movie called Parasite from 1982, which uh, stars Demi Moore in her first role, which is pretty cool just to see, like, with actors who are in horror first, and then they go out of that and do other stuff, um, like Paul Rudd or Jennifer Aniston or Jamie Lee Curtis, where, like, all these big actors just start in horror, like, low-grade horror stuff and get out of it and do something else um and it's funny just to see jimmy roll in her first role because honestly looking at her in this movie like i think she's actually pretty pretty good like i was surprised that this was her first role honestly i wouldn't have known that unless until in because it said that that's the only reason i knew it uh, but parasite the basic story about this is it's more of a parasite movie than the 2019 Parasite movie, but that's in a metaphorical way. Like, they're worming their way into that house, um, these normal these normal people in that other Parasite movie. And this is about a literal parasite. This guy has a parasite growing inside of him, and he's got another in a canister, and he's trying to figure out a way to destroy it. And he goes to this low-grade um, small town and meets Demi Moore, who helps him out kind of with the bullies in town because of course it's a low it's a small town so of course there's bullies in the town that are that try to destroy the canister the guy has but then they start getting their comeuppance by getting getting destroyed by the by the mutated parasite um and it's a charles band movie it has richard band doing the score which is awesome um so i'm glad that it was one of those movies because i do enjoy um the band movies, like, I do like them, but, and this one surprised me, because beginning of the movie, I was like, eh, this is whatever, and as it went along, like, it's definitely one of those build-up movies, in a way where I was not really invested that much at the beginning, but as the movie went along, I definitely liked it a lot more than I expected. Um, effects, I thought, were actually really good. Um, it's not really, at first, it's not really showing much effects because they really were trying to save the money for the end of the movie, I'm really assuming. Um, which is fine because, of course, you need the build-up and the climax in a movie. And this one had a pretty solid climax where, like, you you start to see this, this parasite thing even more. And I gotta say, like, this one, I'm surprised no one talks about this one because this one kind of, I think, went under the radar for some people or a lot of people. Um, I don't see people review this one much whenever you're talking about older horror. Um, and like I said, this is my first time watching it on Amazon Prime, so I just was introduced to it yesterday. But um, but I really dug the effects, and I really dug the performance of Demi Moore. Like, I thought she was good, and I thought the main guy was good, too. I don't know what his name is. I don't even remember what his name is in the movie, but he's the guy who has the other parasite uh, connected to his body. So... I do like that with these band movies, they really do utilize um, utilize budget like in an interesting way. And I don't know if this is Full Moon. I don't think it said Full Moon. I think this was before Full Moon. Um, I'm trying to remember whenever Full Moon was created. Like I know the Puppet Master was eighty nine. I don't know what came before that. That was Full Moon. Um, but I just I look at Full Moon movies and I feel like this is one of them. But it's not. It, at least in the one I watched, it didn't say full moon in the credits. So I wonder when that was created. But uh, but like I said, I think that it works. There's some creepy, effective moments. Um, there's a moment where they describe this parasite where, like, if it drops spores on you, then that creates, like, a million parasites on you. And there's this one woman doing makeup, and she looks up, and the parasite's up in on the ceiling, and it shoots spores down on her. And then you just cut to a shot of her on the ground um, with her face, like, melting apart or breaking apart. And then the parasite freaking, like, breaks out of the top of her head. Like, it just explodes out of it, which I thought was a really cool image. Um, and the parasite reminded me with the teeth. It reminded me of, the, of that monster in Star Wars Empire Strikes Back that... Um, they get out of the Falcon, like, they think it's just a hideaway on a planet, but then it's just an actual creature that they're hiding inside. I don't know what the name is of that. I can't remember. But, uh, but I just watched Empire recently, uh, so I just, I noticed that similarity. That was pretty funny. But, uh, but besides that, really, there's not much else to say. Like, I think it's solid enough with its budget, with its effects. Um, Demi Moore's first movie, I think she does a good job. 
Um, the acting's all good around, and the effects are good, and it's more of a no-show, don't-tell. Until the end of the movie, pretty much. Like, towards the end of the movie, it gets way more, like, showy. But, of course, they have a budget, and they gotta utilize that. They're not gonna have the first act have all the budget of effects. They're gonna wait until the end. Um, and I thought it was just a really solid, fun time. So I'm glad I got to see Parasite. If anybody's seen this, tell me down below. I don't think it's one that I hear many people talk about. But I, I enjoyed it a lot. So that's pretty much it. Um, thanks guys. I'll see you in the next video.